Now let's journey back 600 years now to a time of knights, castles and dragons. They're all images that have been uncovered on the walls of a church in the Vale of Glamorgan. Yes, all very romantic. They'll never look the same again though after the huge mural was uncovered under layers of paint and centuries of history. Well, this is the first time that the images have been shown on television and I went along to St Caddock's in Clancarven to take a peek. hidden for five centuries until now. To the astonishment of parishioners, the paintings were uncovered in a happy accident when builders repaired the roof. A huge lump of the 20 coats of lime wash came loose and the king's head was uncovered together with part of the tower and part of the head of the figure to the right, which is the princess. Experts believe the work dates from the late 14th or early 15th century. Local people are thrilled, but told me they always knew their church was special. I only lived here 68 years, but this is the best thing that's happened to Lancarvin in now all of that time. I've been coming to this church for 36 years, and to find something like this is just, well, the best thing ever. We just hope now we'll cope with the rush for Sunday services at 11 o'clock every Sunday. It's a glimpse into a world of knights and legend. The scene tells the popular myth of George and the dragon. This is St George's foot, clad in armour. Here with George's lance, this is the big black line here going into its throat. There's the dragon's tongue, obviously doesn't like being stuck in the throat. This is another tantalising corner. It's so delicate, I'm not allowed to touch it. But the experts reckon there are 20 layers of lime wash on top of the paintings. That's 20 layers of history to scrape away. And to uncover the whole work, parishioners will have to raise more than £50,000. But a few surprises have already been revealed. This is the sinister face of death grinning down on the congregation. And could this be the face of a page? The experts, or conservators, don't know, but they're still impressed. She's only found three paintings uh, in as good condition as this, and this is probably the best of the lot. And as this is one of the top medieval wall painting conservators in Britain, that means it's probably the most significant find of its type in a hundred years. Also uncovered, one of the seven deadly sins. The first one to be uncovered is gula, gluttony. And they, you could see a few of them saying, oh dear, mm, I wonder what the next one is. Uh, yes, um, avarice, sloth, lust, of course. Yes, a couple are not looking forward to that one. I don't know about lust, but there's a strong desire to see the mural in all its glory. We'll have to wait just a little bit longer. And people might think who are watching, isn't it strange to have St George in a Welsh church? Well, I think I have the answer. I'm told by the experts that uh, those murals were painted mm -hmm. before St George was adopted by England as their patron saint. You've been sorting up. And you'll be going Correct back, me if hopefully. I'm wrong. I'm sure somebody yeah. will.